Hello, my name is Joyce McGarry. I'm an Extension Educator for Michigan State University Extension. I am part of the food safety team across the state of Michigan, helping educate consumers on safely preserving your food. Educators feel it is important to share research-based information. We have several demonstration videos that are available to consumers to demonstrate the proper techniques in food preservation at home. Water bath canning, pressure canning, freezing fruits and vegetables, and making jams and jellies. Our pressure canner demonstration is similar to the one I have here. It shows a dial gauge pressure canner to be used with low acid foods, such as meats and vegetables. We also have a demonstration with high acid foods to be used in a water bath canner. These canners are rather inexpensive, especially the water bath canner. Pressure canners run a little more expensive, but are essential for the low acid foods. The most popular foods to process are the tomato products, pickles, jams, jellies, and fruits which could all be done in the water bath canner. Our demonstration for tomatoes coming up in our video will require lemon juice to be added to our products. Every recipe will have lemon juice added to it. Please follow the recommended amounts in every recipe. That's why it is so important that we use research-based information such as the USDA Complete Guide to Home Canning, which can be downloaded off the USDA website. Or we also recommend the Ball Blue Book, which is something that is very inexpensive and easily found in many stores. We do not recommend using anything before 1994. They uh, do not have the research-based processing times or information. In our jams and jelly demonstration, we have many choices when it comes to that. You can use the low sugar, no sugar choices, but we also want to make sure that you realize that you cannot substitute liquid pectin for powdered pectin in recipes. You need to follow the recipe that it is recommended for to make a product that will be successful. Making sure that you use the proper canning jars is essential making sure that you're using the ones that are made for home preservation, or they can put in the freezer, or they can be put in these canners. They can withstand the high heat. We do not recommend using manufactured jars from mayonnaise or one-time use products. Thank you for your time and your interest in home food preservation, and have a safe and healthy product.